and have fun! Hi everybody! My name's Blackheart Wings and I'm one of your Stardew Valley runners for today. And hello, I am the Valiant Sun. I also am a Stardew Valley speedrunner. And here on commentary, we have Blade. I am a speedrunner slash challenge runner. Most of my time in Stardew is spent looking at the code, trying to find fancy tricks that we can do, mainly around RNG. And I think we are ready to get into this. So without further ado, we will okay. do a countdown. Not oh. quite yet, I gotta make my character. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Well, I was gonna show the character creation menu. We gotta That's do that. That's a nice fancy little script you got going there. Yeah, so we're, we're picking a couple of things and there's a lot of decisions here. And Blade will let us know about that, but I'm ready now. Alright, cool. I'm also now ready. Now let's go. <laughs> Alright, runner's ready. Uh, yeah. Three, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so the Chad, beginning of this run. Chad, if you have sleep emotes. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of this one is really riveting. The runners are sleeping till the end of spring. So about the game, Stardew is a farming sim where you grow crops, you make money, you make friends, you explore the mines, you catch fish, you get married. In this run, we're not doing any of that. So the classroom run is a run where we complete a room in the community centre. The community centre can be viewed as the main quest. So to complete the classroom, the runners need to gather seasonal forage, so items that are only available in spring, summer, fall, winter, thus a lot of sleeping. There's also some exotic forage. These are forage items harder to obtain. We need to also get some construction materials, namely wood, stone and hardwood. This run is seeded. That means that we get to choose the game seed. You would have saw that on the character creation screens. Each file of Stardew has a hidden seed. This controls various RNG elements of the game. Things like drops in the mines, the forage that spawns off the farm, night events, traveling cart contents. By choosing the seed, we are able to predict, mitigate, and manipulate RNG. The seed that the runners are using was found by Robopossum. And Robopossum used some scripts that I developed based on some scripts that Underscore developed. And these are available on GitHub if anyone wants to try to find their own seeds. The runners will be heading out on spring 27. So lots of sleeping until we get there. It's a very comfy, cozy run. So if you have any sleep emotes, if you have any cozy emotes, feel free to put those in chat. It's uh, we're, we're very chill. It's going to be a great time. But I promise there's going to be action too. We're nearly there. The hibernation segment. <laughs> All right, off we go. It's time. Spring 27, yay. So the runners have chosen to be on the forest sum. Oh, well, that's right. We've got the, the pet to adopt. We got our Yeah, we bet that Thank incentive. <laughs> Thank you all so well much done, for everyone. donating all of that money. We're going to be adopting the cat. And what are we naming it? I am naming mine Gordon after my favorite commentator's cat. Gordon. I'm naming Gordon. mine Faith after the... Uh, the Fatals, the Frame Fatals community mascot thing. Nice. All right, so the runners have chosen the forest farm. The forest farm spawns forage directly on the farm itself. You'll notice that the runners are heading over to the left side of the farm. This is where most of the forage will spawn. By sleeping till the end of the season, this allows the forage to build up over the entire season. This is useful both for items to hand into the craft room and for some money. You may notice that the runners are chopping trees faster than what you would otherwise expect. 
there is a hard-coded key sequence in the game. Right shift, delete, and R. If you press these three keys at the same time, this cancels animations. We call this animation cancelling. This was originally put into the game as a debug or a testing tool, but it has been left in and we can take advantage of this. We do have concerned, ape, concerned apes blessing to use this. Since the tool hit happens partway through the animation, we can time the cancel and we can start the next action oh, excuse me, the next action faster. I had abysmal farm forage, so I'm going for <laughs> some of these backups. So did I. I don't have a single moral available. This is All not right. great. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> great start. Good thing we have backups. The forage on the farm is sort of seeded, but not as seeded as forage off the farm. The initial farm creation has a little bit of variance, which can throw off some of the RNG elements for spawning on the farm. I'm going to pick up these forageable items up here because I'm a little bit nervous about how much money I have. The runners right. have kept themselves busy until 8am and they're about to trigger the community center cutscene. 8am is the earliest that this happens. They also need to run into the community center and read the scroll in the classroom. This causes the wizard to send a letter inviting you to a tower. Now you don't see it, but the wizard must be lurking in the shadow somewhere. Because he knows somehow that you looked at this. He's probably lurking over here somewhere. Hard to say. But we know he's around. There we go. So Blackheart plays a little bit safer, and she'll run back to the farm. Balance plays a little bit more fast and loose, and will be exhausting out to teleport straight back to the farm at the cost of 10% of your current funds. I might regret that decision, but... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just barely enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 800 G needed for the end of summer. I guess I'm keeping the my runners will now be sleeping till the end of summer. The next day they go out is the 26th. Again, this allows forest to build up. Also, on Fridays and Sundays, a traveling cart comes to the forest and it sells a wide range of items. Since we know the seed, we know the items sold on this day. So the runners will be purchasing five hardwood and a cactus fruit. This will be a good time for donations. All right, sounds good. So we have a lot of love from the community here. We have a $20 donation from Lee who says, Hi, Jess and Gabby from your Starfruit D fam. We are so incredibly proud of you both. Smash this run. We also Smash have, it. oh, absolutely. $50 from Queen Nerd who says, Good luck to the Valiant Sun and Black Heart Wings. May the best runner win. And we have one more $100 from Char Bunny who says, Ah, let's go! Blackheart Wings of the Valiant Sun showcasing Stardew Valley on GDQ is such a dream. Good luck to both of you. There are bunnies in this game. Unfortunately, there are bunnies we won't in see this any. Game. <laughs> well, we might. We might catch one running through a bush oh, or something. I did see one earlier. <laughs> Do we have time for one more? Absolutely. We have time for one more. All right. Elena Dame donates $25 saying, let's go, Blackheart Wings. Woo! It is unbelievable how much of our community has grown and improved since my run at AGDQ last year. And so much of that is due to the efforts of our wonderful moderator, Blackheart Wings. Thank you to all the staff and volunteers who make this event possible. And Blackheart Wings, take this race by storm. Back to you, Blade. I'm trying so hard, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> cry, 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 cry. No, no. <laughs> there uh, is a bit of a seizure warning coming up. The runners will be checking the mail next time they go out on the 26th. Checking the mail is a little bit flashy. It's very brief. It's only a couple of seconds, but do take care. If you have, um, like, flashing lights, he's... Uh, in, in induced seizures we will let you know when you are good to look but definitely look away once we uh once we leave uh, the, my screen now. all 
All right, you are good on my screen. I'm almost it's there. On Blackheart's screen, just in just a second. Yep. Got it. Okay. Good to go. All right. The mail has been checked. So we have to check the mail to receive the letter from the wizard. Because again, the wizard is watching somewhere. Because he knows once you've read that letter, because if you don't read it, his tower is locked. If you have read it, you can get in. The tower is in the forest. And heading to the tower, you run past the traveling cart. So it's a nice little task overlap. You can get the items from the traveling cart on the way to the wizard in order to start handing things into the community center. Oh, come on. There we go. Animation canceling a little bit too fast. I'm swinging my sight too fast. Because that is a thing. Animation canceling is really interesting in that uh, the timing varies from tool to tool. Um, so the time save varies as well. And you can animation cancel too fast that is absolutely a thing it's an issue that i have <laughs> not that you could tell but there is such thing as too fast direction matters too so i'm very good at animation canceling to the left but if you ask me to go to the right i simply cannot five hardwood and a cactus fruit now purchased by both runners and there is the wizard's tower so you visit the wizard, you drink something funny, and you now think you can talk to animals. With some sentient the, apples. <laughs> Our favorite Junimo apple fairies. Now the runners will head and actually start handing things in to the classroom. The spring forage and the summer forage bundles will be handed in today. This is done now in order to collect the rewards from completing those bundles. You get 30 seeds of 30 spring seeds and 30 summer seeds. These sell for 2,600 G. This money will be used in full. But I believe Valiant uses some today. I do. Yeah, you're Gotta buying in the summer, right? Change up the, the routes. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to be uh, a little bit more careful with my money because, of course, we didn't get the, um, the moral. So I got to get that, that back up. Okay, I think we're good here. So hand in going on on the Valiant side. A shift click is a fast way of putting things in. As long as you click the correct items. Shh, don't call me out like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. So there's a little bit of a cutscene of when the screen pans to show other rooms getting unlocked. We can animation cancel out of that. I was missing a grape and I didn't realize until I left. So, and I got caught on that rock. We love to see it. <laughs> uh, but thankfully in the, um, at the bus stop, there are spots for forgeable items that you can pick up along the way. Very helpful for backup strats. Sometimes you don't always get what you need on the farm, so we know pretty much where you can get uh, backups of anything. Or That's one of anything. the benefits of a seated run. It makes it quite marathon safe. Now, if only we could seed on Farm Forge, that would be great. It would be nice. <laughs> That's what makes this run fun, is the fact that RNG isn't completely eliminated. All right. Come on. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna buy... Shoot. Uh, a little bit too much there. <laughs> Blake, do you want to explain the uh, animation cancelling trick in the community center, if you would be so kind, as I navigate without sight? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, as the screen pans and the other scrolls are opening, you just you press animation cancel and then you get control of your farmer so you can start running around again. You will need to spam it a bit because every time the direction changes, it freezes your character again. But you can run 
quite a way before the viewport comes back to your farmer and you can actually see where you ended up. Glitchless, by the way. And um, seeds are lovely just because um, since Gabby and I started so close together, we're getting very similar um, RNG that we can't control, which is the on-the-farm forage and um, things like that. So it is pretty fun to see how, how close these, this seed is because it's kind of horrible. Not going to yeah. lie. <laughs> Sometimes we've gotten... Both of you. Yeah. Some, sometimes we get like really good forage or like Valiant will have really good forage and I'll have really abysmal forage or the other way around. But it's really it's really testing our on the fly routing that we both didn't get super great forageable <laughs> items on the farm. Um, we do have a window for donations unless Blade, you have more info you want to share. I'll, I'll, I'll do my spell and then call for donations. Keep going. So the runners are now sleeping until 426th. This will be for another cart visit. One of the bundles is an exotic forage bundle, which requires rarer items. The morale can normally be foraged on the farm in spring. And hopefully the runners will be able to get both the red and the purple mushrooms here at the end of fall. The rest are purchased from the cart. And this is a good time for donations. All right, thank you, Blade. We have a $50 donation from Sprinkle Theory who says, Blackheart Wings, the Valiant Sun, and Blade on commentary. The Stardew Valley community loves and appreciates y'all. Donating to Stray since we hit Adopt the Cat. Thank you so much, Sprinkle. We appreciate that. And Squirrel Friend donates $100 saying, Go Stardewers, Sunshine Squad. $5 from Osmorn, who says, Words cannot express how happy I am to see Black Heart Wings and THE Valiant Sun here at AGDQ. I've gotten the privilege of knowing them throughout the past few months, along with so many others in the Stardew Valley community. And they're some of the most amazing individuals I've ever met. I'm so happy to see them both here, and they're so incredibly talented at what they do. They work so hard at what they do and deserve all the love in the world. Can't wait to see what they do next. Good luck, y'all. Oz. Remember when we said to not cry? I'm tearing up a little bit here. Such a wonderful I will community. cry. Stop. I'm going to cry. No. <laughs> Alright, sleeping over. Back to the run. Oh, Val Valiant's out. Black Cut is almost there. One of the unfortunate things about the seed is that there is a owl that spawns overnight on the 24th fourth of fall, which is a little bit of time loss. But the seed has been chosen for the cheap hardwood. Having five, two lots of five hardwoods at the cart for the cheapest you can possibly get them. Because the unseeded run, you have to upgrade your axe so that you can chop your wood faster and get um, hardwood. But this makes it real easy. The, uh, having the hardwood in the cart saves a whole 10 minute difference from the regular glitchless and the seated, um, the seated glitchless runs. It's, it's a pretty big deal. Where are my mushrooms? Yeah, you're Hello? looking a bit light there. Oh dear. Oh Might gosh. Might have to chop that mushroom tree. Might have to. I don't know if that's on the line. During fall, there are, there's a chance every night for a tree to convert to a mushroom tree. If you chop the top of the tree, you will get red mushrooms. There is a one out, well, on paper, there's a one out of seven chance that the stump will give you a purple mushroom. Hmm. There are hidden vertical lines on the farm that if the mushroom tree is on that line, then it will be a purple mushroom. These are the same across every save in Stardew. And these are spaced seven tiles apart. So there's a bit of a YOLO strat available there that if you get a mushroom tree on that line, you can chop it for your purple. I'm going to try and check the right side as well. Maybe I'll get lucky and there's something hiding behind the trees. I just it's had not... to eat a purple mushroom to get enough energy to get enough rocks. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with this run anymore. <laughs> I've lost control of it. We've just, it's, it's all lost in the sauce. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Yeah, the, the coconut uh, that Blackheart just bought is the backup 
for either the morel in spring or one of the coloured mushrooms in fall. We don't have a second backup. No, and I think the... Shoot, what is the nearest one? I think it's at the... I sent you a file. I think it's in, like, summer is the closest backup in the cart. Oh, dear. I... Um, but ideally, you'd get a morel on the farm by then. Let me see. Mm. Let me see. There's another mushroom tree here. That may be on That's the line. I haven't memorized to the line. that side. It's close. Let's see. Hang on. Feeling picking up the rest of the whole forage in the bus stop. Not quite. All right, let's 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 wander around the farm a little bit. Let's see. It wouldn't be a marathon if we just didn't have the absolute worst <laughs> forage luck of all time. <laughs> had to be. Had to be. All right. Uh, Can you clutch one from behind the house? No, none there. Mm. I think what I'll do is I will leave again on the 27th and the 28th and, you know, hope for the best. Yep. Did you just shake the thumb? Yep. Have to pop back out for that. Faith, will you give me a little bit of luck? I've pet you already. Oh, goodness. Faith, please. <laughs> what, what are you missing from the full forage failure? I am missing my um, blackberry because, um, oh, yeah. as you know, my routing is very um, inventory management heavy, so... Faith, Faith, thank you. I forgot that I'm meant to go this way as opposed to the other way. I'm gonna chop down some trees, bring down my energy. This is why the estimate is 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this black cat still needs to head up to Robins to buy the remainder of the stone and wood. able to purchase 83 stone with the current funds there. A rabbit! <laughs> rabbit! Okay. So Valiant is now in winter, on winter first. This is the day that the run finishes. Since we know the seed, and we know how many times the ground has been tilled, zero, we are able to predict where the winter forage, the buried winter forage will be when you till the ground. So, hopefully you didn't miss it. Valiant tilled a spot and then tilled a spot three to the left and got both the winter root and the snow yam. With the crocus and the crystal fruit being on the ground in the bus stop. Time is coming up on Valiant's side. It sure is a conundrum. Oh no. <laughs> You might want to hand in that last blackberry. What if I don't want to hand in the last blackberry? <laughs> Time is going to be when the screen flashes and we see the completed craft room. So, time, time on my end. Okay. Black card, you have our full attention. No pressure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was me. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Um. Okay, and that's. Do you want to find that backup day on the cart, there, Valiant? Oh yeah, I could go find it to see if what the day is for the the backup. Under Actually, normal circumstances, I would the... pass out in um in the community center but this is highly unusual i don't think i've ever <laughs> had this happen before so there you go for your bingo card pressing the fly <laughs> gdq first or actually seated no i need the money i'm gonna go sleep <laughs> oh goodness gracious all right i 
just ran back to the farm. I'm pulling up, and then I'm pulling up Google Drive to let you know when the backups are. I just wanted to go give Gordon a pet. <laughs> I looked this up because I was like, one of us is probably going to get this luck. And sure I need enough. to know where the next cart is. All right, you planned let's look this. over on the you side. Planned I, this. I planned this. Hi, Faith. Okay, let's see. So, first backup. All right, first backup is... Um, oh, look, another of, red mushroom. Yeah, this so, does nothing for me. <laughs> um... Your best bet is going to be sleeping till the end of spring and hoping for a morel on the farm. Because okay. you got a red, or did you get a purple? I have not gotten no. a purple, but I got right. three red mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So your purple mushroom is going to um, your morel's the best bet because your purple mushroom from the cart is winter fourteen, year two. Dear God. Okay. <laughs> This is fine. <laughs> Hibernation run. <laughs> well, Sky, uh, if you've got any more donations, you can totally send some our way whilst we figure this out. <laughs> Absolutely, and there's so much love for y'all. I'll try not to cry, but these these are very heartfelt again. So we have $20 from Devin who says, so excited to see you both showing up your talents off and making thousands of people wanting to play Stardew again. You both are the best and what you're doing means a lot. And you know what else means a lot? Plethora. This is true. He really did have to make that joke. He really <laughs> did. <laughs> I mean, I liked it. All right, $50 from Maybe Your Pie, who says, Beautiful memories playing Stardew Valley with my friend who's also watching. Shout out to her. Thanks, GDQ, for everything you do, and major appreciation to everyone working behind the scenes. Less than three, and it actually says less than three for everyone wondering out there. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, absolutely. Black Hat there doing a little bit of RNG up, pacing the cat. Naturally. They paid good money to see this cat. I have to show it a little bit of love. All right. Do we have time for one more? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one's a question for our runners here. Cav donates $10 saying, Blade, it's so lovely to see you on AGDQ. For you, Black Heart Wings, the Valiant Sun, and a lurking concerned ape in the chat, what is your favorite forageable and why? Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Hang on. Here we go. One here, one here. Honestly, I really like the snow yam. I just think that it's a lovely color. Um, and I love the way that you can like dig it up. I think it's just, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's lovely. It's perfect. It's great. Mine is the snow yam. I think it's, I think it's great. <laughs> what is I think for me, the happiest, the one that I'm the most happiest to see especially when I'm doing bo boiler room speed runs, is the grape. Ooh, yeah, the Just grape getting that, getting that grape in the bus stop in summer. I think that the run's going to finish. I really like the purple mushroom. They're just very useful in general, and I just like their shape. I'm just not a fan of the purple mushroom right now. Understandable. I <laughs> forgot. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, drama on stream. Well, We're I'm going to have to grudge tune in. match after this. We will have to grudge match after this, clearly. Or a rematch of some kind. <laughs> Maybe with better RNG. But I'm going to be turning in the winter forageables bundle. Uh, and then I'm going to sleep to spring. Well. <laughs> Would Brilliant. not be a marathon without all of this, don't you think? I do want to remind folks as well, please be sure to follow both Blackheart Wings and the Valiant Sun, just two fantastic runners, fantastic Frame Fatal community members. We just, we love y'all so much. Thank you so much for showcasing Stardew Valley. Now Sky's trying to make us cry. <laughs> <laughs> Go to these stream pages right now and click that follow button. I'm watching you. <laughs> Blade, you had a question, I think, or 
Yes, Valiant, do you want to tell us what your unofficial world record for this category is? Yeah, so um, the current one, if you go on SRC, is 20 minutes, 16 seconds um, by, by myself. Um, but I have an unofficial one I haven't submitted yet. It's 20 minutes, 0 seconds, and 11 milliseconds because I retimed it. And so I am trying so hard for a sub-20. But alas, it eludes me. <laughs> that will happen. This is, okay, I was hoping that that wasn't a lead up to you saying that you beat my record. <laughs> I was waiting for it. No, it wasn't. I, I, I said I wouldn't coming up to this, and here you go. I might be doing it tonight, though. I'll have to stay up and... But, and I mean, in chat, if you're following people while you're going around, you should definitely follow Blade. He's got so much code knowledge. Blade is one of He's our code a, divers. A really He's smart been around. guy. None yes. of this would be possible without him. It's very true. Seated is Blade's baby, which is why we asked him to be here. Um, it felt appropriate and also necessary. So uh, much love to Blade for keeping us company, even though it's quite early for you. You're in, because Blade is in New Zealand. It is quarter to 10 a.m. right now. That was a weird way of saying it. Nine, <laughs> 9 45 a.m. <laughs> Okay, I think... So not that early. For, uh, we'll call it RNG Minip. I'm going to sleep until like spring, mid-spring, and see if we can call it around then. Uh, if not, then I'll sleep to the end of spring. 3.30 on winter one is a train. I'm going to go see what it is. Train... Uh, we can do a couple more donations, Sky, if you've got any. Oh, absolutely. Meg Han Solo donates $5 saying, Sending in all of my love for my frame fatale ladies running a great game. You're both winners in my book. <gasps> wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. This is this might be a first for me to see. One of the runners has donated while running. We have $50 from the Valiant Sun saying, Gabby, I'm so sorry for cursing your run. I love this game with you, and thank you for being so awesome. That's it's so okay. sweet of you, Valiant. <laughs> oh, Jess. It's okay. These things happen. It's a marathon. That's a, this is why we have backups. <laughs> that is so sweet of them. Valiant, thank you so much. I love Jess so much. Uh, we've been uh, we've been duoing a lot lately, and uh, Jess is honestly the reason why I'm here in the first place. They harangued me into it. They they were like, "Hey, Gabby, do you want to uh, submit a run for AGDQ?" And I was like, "Sure, let's do it." <laughs> and here we are. So, anyways, this is all Jess's fault, is what I'm saying. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I would like to ask if you'd like more donations, but I don't want to make you all like cry right here. I know this is such a sweet, wholesome run, but you know. We can do a couple more. Um, I'm going to go to the 14th and we'll see how it goes from there. All right, this is the most good. lucrative train I've ever gotten in my life. Go is for a donations. For <laughs> no, yeah. you're good. You're good. Like I said, this is just wholesome. I'm trying to take this all in here. $25 from Chuck Valiant, who says, maybe the real seated community crafts room bundle was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> it's true. All right, I'm going to leave on Friday. Let's, let's, hi, Kent. There we go. Oh, it's right there. This it's right there. Yay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Don't let it jump into that shipping bin. Good God, no. No, absolutely not. Hang on, I gotta chop this down. Oh gosh. It's Forky from Toy Story. <laughs> shipping <All right>. bin? <laughs> Trash. <laughs> All right, I need, I need one more piece of wood and I'm gonna try and waddle down here and get the last bit of stone that I need. Because, of course, I ended up short on everything. Truly the most marathon of runs. All right. We're behind you on this ending. Oh, gosh. We're all right here, and we're really proud of y'all. Can you hear our cheers? Oh, absolutely. Black hot, black hot, black hot. Okay. 
Come on, chat. <laughs> I'm so nervous now. I can't do my animation canceling properly. Oh, dear. <laughs> you it's got okay. It. This is Take fine. energy. <laughs> Okay, so this is a really good spot for stone that I can absolutely get some from and we'll make it work and everything will be fine. Uh, I'm so sorry that this ended up overestimated. It almost certainly ended up overestimate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gabby, listen. What makes Stardew so much fun is that we concede it and it still does this. It's why it's such a good game to run because like, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't come down just to like, one more. Execution, okay, there we go. Like of, like a set number of things. It's like it's you get a show that like adapt to things on the fly, and look at you go. At least it was entertaining the whole time, right? <laughs> Absolutely. In the community center. We're <laughs> going. <laughs> Zoom in. We're Newman. Let's see if there's anything interesting in these trash cans. Might as well. Nothing. Go get okay. yourself a spicy elf in the selling trash. <laughs> No, I'm not going for the saloon trash. That's a little bit. <laughs> it's a bit roundabout, don't you think? <laughs> the seed that we have for mines 50 gives us perfect daily luck on the fifth and a spicy eel from the saloon trash. I love, I love how and like seeded works. It's so interesting. And you can still do things like this. Okay, exotics. There we go. The, hey. the elusive moral. <laughs> And we've got this and this, beautiful. Yeah, Time go, will be on the final flash, I will call it. Oh, goodness gracious. We made it. <laughs> we made it through. Here we and go, here we go. Time. Yay! Yay. We did it. Awesome job. <laughs> oh, gosh. And not that far away, but you <clears throat> wasn't so bad i suppose um i'm gonna do shout outs really really quickly because we are indeed super overestimate but i do want to give shout outs to all of my friends who um have just been so supportive throughout all of this uh especially my friend caitlin you know why you know who you are i love you so much um also my partner who's without whose support i would not be here today uh, all of the Stardew Valley community. I've seen you guys in chat. I've seen you know, like your messages have been amazing. I'm so glad that I get to be a part of this here. Um, it's an honor to be a moderator for you all. Uh, shout outs to the Fatals, our the fabulous community here at GDQ. Um, you guys should check out Frost Fatals coming up soon. Uh, it's gonna be great. Um, and también quiero dar un saludo a Spirons Español and all of the restreamers. Saludos a todos. Uh, you're very welcome in my stream. Siempre están bienvenidos. Much love to everybody. Thank you so much for having me. Jess, do you have any more shout outs? I was going to say, where can we find you? Uh, where can we find you, Gabby? Twitch TV slash Blackheart Wings. If you're interested in running Stardew Valley, uh, speedrun.com slash underscore slash Stardew underscore Valley. We have guides for this. We have so many guides. You're welcome in our Discord. It's great. Uh, we're very friendly. We don't bite, I promise. Uh, yeah, my my shout outs. Thank you so much to the Sunshine Squad for showing up, being in the chat, as well as everyone in the Stardew Valley community. Again, I wouldn't be doing this um, like without any of y'all, especially um, some of the lovely ladies that includes Gabby um, Blackheart here. Um, I wouldn't be speedrunning this without you guys, so I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much to... Um, my IRL friends as well, Nerdvana, for showing up, um, making sure I hydrate and I stretch whenever I am practicing speedruns, um, and to my partner for introducing me to GDQ and um, pointing me in this direction, and to Blade for agreeing to do commentary for us. Oh, thank you so much again for that lovely run of Stardew Valley. Black Heartwings and the Valiant Sun. Please be sure to give both Apollo and Blade lovely commentary as well. Just a wholesome segment overall. Thank you all so much. 
We have $50 from Psychologist who says, loving this cozy Stardew Valley run. A massive thank you to GDQ, all the runners and volunteers for another spectacular event. Special shout out to Humphrey for being totally awesome. I second that shout out as well. And all right, folks, we are going to be taking a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2023, powered by Twitch. We have $25 from Tribal Science, who says, Thanks to the Valiant Sun and Blackheart Wings for the coziest speedrun I've seen on GDQ. Let's get that stray incentive so we can see more kitties. All right, folks, now we have a word from our sponsors. All right, so the first one we have is a Frame Fatal. Mark your calendars, Frost Fatal 2023, GDQ's next all-women charity speedrunning event is coming up 
February 26th through March 4th, the Frame Fatale community will be raising money for charity and spotlighting the talented women in speedrunning. For more information about Frame Fatale, go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame fatale or do exclamation point FF in the chat. If you're a woman interested in joining the FF community, DM us at Frame Fatale on Twitter or head to our website. We also have seven now delivery, pizza, fresh food, snacks, candy, and alcohol delivery, 24 seven delivery in about 30 minutes in the US and Canada. There will be a donation made to Benefit Prevent Cancer Foundation. For more information, go to www.7now.com. All right, time for now some more wholesome donations here. I do want to let you know again, I am Skybills, your host, and I'm going to be your host for the Sonic Block coming up. So we do have some incentives, speaking of which, a lot of fantastic Sonic incentives here. So I'm going to refresh here and grab some fresh numbers here. So Sonic Colors Ultimate, the Sonic movie outfit. You love Sonic. I love Sonic. Of course, I love full Sonic movies. Fantastic. $758 out of 5000 so again, if you want to see the Sonic movie outfit, and I know I do, please be sure to get those donations in. The second one to kind of keep our eyes on throughout the Sonic block is the Sonic Advance 2 True Area 53, currently at $1,427 out of $5,000. If you want more Sonic, True Area 53 sounds like an awesome place to be as well, too. So again, in exchange for that, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, pretty iconic Sonic game, right? Probably one of the most quotables. I will do my best Sonic Adventure 2 quotable impressions for you throughout the Sonic block in exchange for putting donations towards those incentives, all right? That is my end of the deal for y'all. That's the Sonic talent I have to offer. So again, if you want some Sonic Adventure 2 battle quotes, just that one, I don't know a lot of the other ones, please be sure to get those donors in and make sure to put them towards the Sonic incentives. All right, folks, I have been told we have a fantastic interview. If you love The Last Run, you will love this. We have an interview with Black Heart Wings, The Valiant Sun, and our one and only Jay Hobbs. Take it away, y'all. Jay Hobbs, and I am joined by Black Heart Wings and The Valiant Sun. Uh, thank you both so much, and congrats on the run. Really, really excellent watch. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, so. I have been a a fan of Stardew speedruns for kind of a while now uh, because I there's something really interesting about them to me, which is that the there's an infinite complexity in the routing for any category of this game. And uh, an easy example of that is like the repeated use of sleeping early to pass the days that's used in so many different categories, which compared to a casual experience, you want to maximize like every single day as much as you can, right? Uh do you either of you find yourself like diving much into the routing aspect of the run, or are you mostly focused on the knowledge and execution side of things? Uh, why don't we Why don't we start with uh, Blackheart Wings on this one? I'm definitely more of a knowledge person. Routing is hard for Stardew Valley. It involves a lot of math, and I am not a math person, uh, <laughs> and a lot of spreadsheets. Uh, so I'm definitely more of a skill based, execution based, knowledge based kind of person for when it comes to Stardew speedruns. And Valiant Sun, how about you? Um, I am a, a mathematician by day, so I really <laughs> like um, going in and trying to... Um, I, I've got... Um, Blade mentioned his predictor. I download the code. I seed things. I come up with really dumb ideas. And then I go to a knowledge person like Gabby, and I'm like, here's a dumb idea. And about 75% of the time, it's like, correct, that's a dumb idea. And then the other times, it's like... <laughs> Wait, actually, 
<laughs> Most people don't know, I think, that that is a lot of speed running. It's just how many dumb ideas can I come up with? A lot of routing, that is. How many dumb ideas can I come up with and find the one that works? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. Uh, I did want to ask, uh, so the race, obviously, we had a little bit of a left turn in that race with some, some of the <laughs> randomness. And that kind of leads perfectly into one of our social media questions here from at Carrarium. What's up, Carrie? Uh, <laughs> she asks, what part of the race were you most concerned about leading up to this? And how do you think you did when it happened? <laughs> I was actually, my biggest concern wasn't um, forage spawn because out of all of the practice, that wasn't really like a big issue. <laughs> Joke's on me, I guess. But my biggest concern was actually accidentally oversleeping. Um, because uh -huh. we run seated runs, you have to leave the house on very specific days. Um, and especially in the fall, I just tend to accidentally oversleep. And we had a backup for that. We definitely had a backup prepared for that, but not for a missing extra forageable item. But you know what? It's okay. These things happen. We made it work. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I, I was worried more um, about not getting forage spawns and then that moral didn't show up. And I was like, oh, geez, please at least give me the mushrooms. And I was like, I like got the mushrooms and I was super excited. And then I glanced over at Gabby's screen and I'm like, I haven't seen a purple mushroom yet. <laughs> And I was just like, oh no, but I was like, like I was glad because I'm like, I looked up all the backups for this so I can help because um, I went code diving before to figure out all the backups for that. So I was like, cool, I freaked out about this and it helps at least. <laughs> yeah. We made it work. We cover each other's bases, which is really nice. You did. It was great. And honestly, from from as best as I could tell, which is obviously a little bit hard to tell kind of who's ahead, who's behind in, in a race like this. But the, the cool thing is that kind of that day counter almost gives us a little bit of a reference of, of who's ahead. Because if you've done everything with your day, you get to go to sleep a bit early, right? Uh, and to me, uh, halfway through this race, it was actually even more than halfway. It was about 40 seconds apart. Uh, that was it. So I, I was wondering for a game as chill as Stardew, do you still find yourself getting like getting real real sweaty, worked up during during a race of it? Like, are you still get anxious, or is it just like impossible to kill the chill with this game? Uh, let, let's start with Valiant Sun on this one. Um, Speedrun wise, I have anxiety all the time about speedruns, <laughs> um, but um, no, just I I have such a good time and like being able to just chatter with people like super helps, which is why I'm super glad I got to do the race and then also become friends with Blade because I know that I can get the banter then and I can take all the nervous energy and translate it to sarcastic comments and then kind of chill a bit. <laughs> always good, always good, Blackheart. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of both, I think. Like, there are definitely ways to kill the chill, especially if you're running with somebody who you're, like, really familiar with. Co-op runs, especially, are um, really great with the banter and the back and forth. But, yeah, the anxiety can get to you. Uh, it's not... It's... Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier to offset because of the chill nature of Stardew Valley. But it's still there. It's yeah. definitely still there. <laughs> Well, we talked a little bit about how kind of math plays a big factor into this game now that you can kind of calculate things off of seeds. And RNG calculation seems to be a pretty large aspect of at least this run in particular. How new is that aspect? Because I I, I don't personally remember it a ton from some of the, the runs I've seen in the past. And have either of you been running the game since before that was found? Or has that kind of been known about for a long time? Um, so seeds have been around at least for a while. It was just utilizing seeds was very difficult. So seeds by default are based off of system time. And so um, before 1.5, I believe, you had to manipulate your system time in order to get a seeded run. So no one ran them because it was like difficult to set up. Sure. But with 1.5, as we saw, there's now a seed box so you can seed things. And so since December 2020, there's been an uptick in seeded runs now. Um, but they're still... Not really ran a whole lot, just because they're um, you kind of take out some of the fun, um, fun little RNG out of um, them with the seeds. But otherwise, I like them a lot. Sure, sure. I'm just gonna uh, second anything. what Jess said. 
I yeah. have nothing else to add. <laughs> I was, was going to ask. Uh, well, I I am curious uh, for both of you. You brought it, you know I, you talked about the nerves that can happen with this kind of thing, uh, and maybe you didn't know at the time. But what what made you more nervous? Uh, the fact that you were doing a Stardew run in front of seventy plus thousand people, or as at Mead Streams asks, how'd you feel when you found out the dev was in chat uh, doing that speedrun in front of the dev? Even if you're finding out for the first time right now, which of those to you seems like the 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 bigger deal for you? We'll start with Blackheart this time. Oh, I think uh, I I just saw the tweet that Concerned Ape was in chat, and oh god, um, <laughs> I'm a very anxious person. I don't know if you could tell, but I think that uh, the anticipation of doing such a, like doing a run in front of such a large crowd of people, especially for such a huge event like this, that's the most anxiety inducing not that performing in front of concerned ape isn't anxiety inducing but <laughs> <laughs> understand what is so valiant um i honestly have been bizarrely chill about everything and i think it's maybe going to hit me later but i would say <laughs> like yeah the donation that said i, I know ca is lurking or whatever and i was like Quick, like sit up straight. Like <laughs> it's like someone said, your grandmother's coming over. You got to like make your bed and everything. All those yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Well, either way, I think you two did a fantastic job showing off this game and honestly showing off what what can be really fun about these speed runs and and how uh, even with the routing and all the planning you can do, there is still that random factor that you're always having to adapt to. So uh, thank you both so much for a fantastic race of this game and uh, best of luck in your future runs. Thank you so much for having thank us. You. We really appreciate it. All right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, and of course, we love having you. And I'm going to go ahead and let us get back to some more speed runs. So thanks again and keep watching AGDQ 2023 online. All right, thank you to j Hobbs for that wonderful interview. And again, please be sure. Please be sure to drop a follow to Black Hard Wings and the Valiant Sun again. Just fantastic run. Thank you all so much for that wonderful run and interview. So again, Sonic Block coming up. I want to see a lot of GDQ spins in chat. And again, forgot to mention this earlier, puns. Always a big fan of puns. Always a big fan of hearing the groans from the runners in the chat. So again, puns are great too. I love this reference here. Uh, $25 from This Way Out, which I believe is the name of um, Prison Lane's theme from Sonic Adventure 2. So appreciate that. Woo! Time for Sonic Black. Give us your best. Talk about low budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. I like red and better. Yeah! Pretty please. All right, folks, I'd love, love, love to introduce the Sonic Block here. We have Sonic Unleashed with Smack All Day Stages. Take it away. Good luck. Have fun.